You know, indoor plants also suffered during February's freeze, as many of us lost heat inside of our homes for several days. Fox 26's Chelsea Edwards is getting some help from the experts live at Buchanan's Native Plants in the Heights. Good morning, Chelsea. Hey, good morning, Jose. It's something that I hadn't even thought about, but our homes are so cold that some people's plants didn't even survive the freeze. So right. you've had some customers here talking about that. Yeah, so <clears throat> some people brought in tropical plants out, you know, indoor plants. They brought them inside thinking they'd be safe. Lost power, house got cold. They lost indoor tropical plants. Um, so surprisingly, some people are coming in trying to replace those. Okay. And um, we, we're stocked up and ready for it. Yeah, I love um, the greenhouse here, yeah, by the thank way. You. So what are some of your recommendations or some of the hot picks nowadays? So like I, I just go with what's easy and what I know and have been successful with, which is not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, like Sansevieria or snake plant, this is like one of my go-to. I think people starting out, um, this is an easy plant to get started out with, but it's also just kind of like a staple that even experienced gardeners should have in their house. Okay. Um, pothos, I love it. It trails, it grows quickly, pretty low maintenance, tells you when it wants water by drooping a little. Mm -hmm. I, I just kind of default to that. Okay. Um, we've got Swiss cheese plant, Raphidophora, ZZ plant, this is kind of related to this. Super low maintenance, easy. Monstera, it's kind of a hot plant. Everyone should have one. Mm -hmm. um, pretty low maintenance as well. Um, this uh, money tree. Money tree, I knew I liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> it, a lot of people want it. It's, it's surprisingly easy to care for and, and, uh, and keep alive. And it, uh, it's also called, I think, a friendship plant because it makes so many like uh, pups that you can give to friends to propagate and have their own. Okay. Um, but all these are like my go-tos as far as easy, low maintenance. You're just getting started with indoor gardening or you just need another suggestion for that spot in your house. Okay, which of these would you say is the least maintenance, by the way? Um, it's probably got to be the, the Sansevieria, mother-in-law's tongue, snake plant. Like, I would water it once every 30 days or something. Okay. Um, Good to know. So yeah. uh, that can survive a, a lot, including me, right? Right, right. Okay. So I just want to have a, uh, make a little side note here because you've got the uh, not pet safe plants labeled, and I really love that you do that. So uh, should we just have people keep in mind as they're shopping to replace, like, if they have pets? Yeah, it's definitely that. something to be aware of outdoors, but especially indoors if you have indoor pets or or kids running around. Um, and, and we try to post signs like this one um, to let you know if it's toxic or if it's pet safe. Um, but yeah, it's something to be aware of and, and ask a gardener about here uh, if you have any questions. Okay, and I have so many more questions okay. that we're yeah. gonna talk about during the nine o'clock. And I mean, it might be the snake plant for me because the plant you gave me last year, didn't make it. It wasn't the freeze's <laughs> fault either. So we'll talk about that okay. coming up in the next hour. Reporting live, Chelsea Edwards, Fox 26 News.